Hi guys, Dave in Texas here, and uh, a friend of mine sent me a video uh, yesterday, uh, private, and he said, take a look at my knife collection, I've got, I've got like 100 knives, I went, damn, you do have a bunch of knives, anyway, he's got all these little small ones, like for two dollars, and little flick na knives, and uh, flick blades, and, you know, I, I was thinking, uh, I only got like a few knives that uh, I really keep around for protection or you know maybe take with me somewhere or whatever you know I used to go hunting and stuff and uh, I used to have a switchblade I think my son has that now plays with it or my daughter has it and it's broken whichever I have a few of those I have one of those illegal uh, flick stilettos that the um, blade goes out the handle. So all you want to do is walk up to somebody, put the handle up against them, and push it. And if you don't have a bone, it goes right into the heart. Just zip up between your ribs and pops back out again. Just real quick. Zip it. I've got one of those ones that's got a pair of brass knuckles on it. Kind of sort of like this one, but you know, the knuckles are finished. I like brass knuckles. And it's got a little bone crusher on the uh, bottom of it. Kind of a rectangle type shape on the uh, end of it. It's called a skull crusher. And it's just got a uh, regular uh, type blade to it. It's just a uh, you know, normal looking knife. It's nothing special. It's nothing. It's not 1918. It's not an antique. It's just a new copy type. Not very sharp. But uh, I started thinking. I told him about this one. He's never seen it. But this one is one hell of a knife. Uh, this actually is a very, very dangerous knife. The way it's all set up. You've got uh, your handle, right? For your pistol type grip or your bare knuckles grip, right? You got your um, support back here, you know, for stabbing. You've actually got a uh, grip right here. So no matter what, it's not coming out of your hand. As long as you can keep your fingers closed, it's going to stay in your hands, right? It's got that weird ass shaped blade. As you can see, it's got a weird shape to it. See that? It kind of looks like the space shuttle type of weird shape or oddball thing. It says military commemorative. And I'm thinking maybe it's kind of like what they call the Gurkha type knife from India, which is illegal to have. But, but like I said, it's odd because the shape of this thing is just absolutely meant to penetrate. You see how the shape there in the middle of it? Now it bounces out to the tip, but it's very much supported. It's very thick at those uh, spots. All right, so you don't break the blade off on it, and uh, it doesn't take much to get it sharp either. And when it's sharp, it's just like razor sharp. You know, of course, you don't want razor sharp, but uh, it can be. Of course, they end up chipping the blade. But anyway, <coughs> I just thought I'd show this one to him. Anybody else wanted to see it? Kind of a neat knife. Uh, like I said, you can hold it like you would a pistol grip. You know, with your hands like this, see that? And that's not coming out of your hand. This is, you know, you got this little do I did here, okay? So you can actually, you know, slice with it, slice and dice. You can stab with it and twist it, right? Which is that way. That's <clears throat> that's where you really do some damage to somebody. You don't just stab them. Just, you know, doesn't just go like this. Go in. Just eh, and out again. You want to, you know, use this blade for what's meant to. Let's go in and twist it. All right, put a nice twist to it. So when it comes out twisted, it really does some real damage. It's almost impossible to stop the bleeding. So you bleed to death very easily. Now that's one way to hold it. All right, just like that. All right. Another way, you just hold it like this, you know. But 
you may get it pulled out of your hand. So you might want to hold it like this, which you know, breaking your damn index finger. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So you bring the fingers back up again, all in line like this. You got it like this. So you can punch with it, right? You find the way you can punch with it. You can punch with it. Boom. All right. Or I think it's the nastiest way you can use a knife. Turn this thing upside down like this. You're still gripping it with that fingers, right? On that grip. And you're punching and slicing and dicing like this. See my fist? Okay, here's my fist. So I punch some with it. And when I fall through, here comes the blade right behind my fall through. So it's a right cross. Here comes my right cross. It's helped with the weight and the power of this you know, very solid knife handle. Right behind it is the uh, very thick, very sharp blade that will cut a huge gash in somebody. Now, I'm pretty sure this, this, this is illegal to have as far as, you know, carrying it with you or on yourself or in your car or whatever. I think the blade's too long. It's like a uh, seven inch blade, eight inch blade. Overall, it's uh, Maybe close to 12 inches. It's very heavy too. Very heavy knife. Very well made. So I've dropped it, thrown it, all kinds of stuff, and still haven't damaged it. Uh, what else? Uh, you got a nice lanyard uh, uh, tang type thing set up in it. You know, if you want to put on a lanyard. Nice leather strap. I also don't lose it. And the only thing I don't have is a. Uh, <coughs> sheath for it or carrying case I don't have one but just like to show it off very heck of a good knife I've never seen one before other than the one I'm talking about it's 1911 I think they call it a a, a, a ditch knife because you had it in the uh, uh, trenches or a trench knife that's what they call it a trench knife and had the full set of uh, uh, brass knuckles. It had a uh, skull crusher on the end of it, and about a seven-inch long tapered thin blade. It's like a you know like a long skinny hunting knife. Well, for the blade's not made very well, and it probably break and try to stab somebody with it. But the main thing is it's got those brass knuckles, and it's got that you know bone crusher on it or skull crusher. It would crack open your cranium the way it's set up. Now, would this crack your cranium? Yeah, let's do the very same thing. You know, it's not as nasty looking, but yeah, if you, you know, can, if you came down on somebody's skull with this hard enough, wham! Yeah, it cracked your skull. And you wouldn't lose control over it because why? Because you have it in a special little grip. Isn't that neat? Nice grip. That's what makes this knife is that special little device right there. Okay, that's part of the uh, knife itself. It's not just an add-on. It's not just an afterthought. It's part of the knife. It's all in one. And uh, does a good job. Anyway, if you have questions about this or any other knives I've talked about, uh, just give me a holler. I'll be happy to show them to you. And uh, thanks, Bart, for showing me your knives. I appreciate that. Those are pretty cool. I especially like that one that you've got. This is a French a flick blade, you call it. Flick blade. Okie dokie. Stay in Texas. Have a good one. Bye.